Hello, brothers, sisters, friends. Welcome to another Coffee Moments with the Father. And we're going to be continuing on our series on prayer. To help me with my own prayer, I've been reading this book by Mark Templer, The Prayer of the Righteous. I like what Mark said in the beginning of the book, where he talks about our image of God or our view of God will affect our relationship with Him and will affect how we pray. And true enough, if we have the correct view of God, we will be more keen to pray to Him. So the first image, the image of God is God is running through the fields. I love running through the fields, don't you? I remember when I was in the primary school, um, after school, while waiting for the bus, school bus to come and fetch me to go home, my friends and I, we would have some spare time. And so one of the things that we love to do is to run around the field. The field is the size of a soccer field and it's very big. So we'll just run and run and run and run. We never seem to tire. But of course, at the end of the day, when we finish running, the bus come, we go home. We are all sweaty, dirty, muddy. And I can always remember how my, aunt, my mom reacted. Son, take me. Why, why are you so dirty? Ah, don't you know you have to wear those shoes, those uniform again for tomorrow? See, the schools in Malaysia, we have to wear a proper uniform to school. And of course, I just smile. Mom has to do washing. I don't even know what's going on. I just love running through the fields. But God, our God, unlike me, do not run around the fields aimlessly for no good reasons or for no good purpose. So let's see, why is God running through the fields? Let us read from the Bible, Luke chapter 15, verse 4 to 6. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost ship until he finds it? When he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulder and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost ship. So the Bible says here that God is running through the field, not aimlessly, without purpose, or without reason. He is running through the fields to look for us. In fact, the Bible says he leave the 99 who is healthy and safe to look for us, the one who is lost. God cannot wait but to find us. And when he found us, he is so happy, he rejoices, he put us on his shoulder and come back and tell all his friends, let's rejoice together because I have found my lost sheep. You see, God cannot wait to find us and to spend time with us. How many of us wish that someone would run after us like that? Isn't it great to know that God cannot wait to find us and to spend time with us? And why does God run through the field to look for us? He run through the field to look for us simply because He loves us. And why does He rejoice when He finds us? Because He rejoices when He finds us because we are so precious to Him. So brothers, sisters, friends, the next time you pray, I want you to picture this as you pray. Think of God running towards you, trying to get hold of you, to spend time with you, 
to be reconnected with you. He rejoices when he hears your prayers because he is connected with you through prayer. Thank you, brothers, sisters, friends, for the coffee moments with the Father. I'll see you again. Bye.